Selecting work to mark from within a Turnitin submission point. Locate the submission point containing the student work you need to mark within the content area of the VLE site the submission point has been inserted into. Click on the submission point to launch its assignment inbox. Before you access a submission to begin marking, it is critical that you first filter the assignment inbox. You will need to do this for a variety of reasons. To display only those submissions that are ready to be marked. This prevents you from potentially marking work from the same student twice. For example, if a student has made a submission, but one that can be superseded by a later submission due to having gained an extension. To display only those submissions that shouldn't be penalised for spelling and grammar and are ready to be marked. To display only those submissions ready to be marked where you are marking a subset of the submissions from a larger cohort. In this scenario, you will have two filters assigned to you personally. One for those ready to be marked and one for those ready to be marked that should not be penalised for spelling and grammar. If you don't filter the assignment inbox, you will likely cause yourself additional unnecessary work. To filter the assignment inbox, access the drop-down next to the search field. It displays the words All Students by default. Roll your pointer over the appropriately named group set listed in the drop-down and then, from the sub-menu that pops up, click on the desired group name. On selection of a group, the assignment inbox will be filtered to show only the submissions matching the reason for the group's existence. If you are the sole first marker for an assessment, the group names will typically be To Mark and To Mark Flagged. Submissions displayed using the To Mark Flagged filter should not be penalised for spelling and grammar. If there is more than one first marker, then the group names already described will typically be prefixed with your name. For example, Jane Smith to Mark and Jane Smith to Mark flagged. There will be a to Mark and a to Mark flagged group for each first marker. With the assignment inbox filtered, you are ready to start marking. To assess a submission for grading, click on either the paper's title or the pencil icon in the grade column for that submission. Turnitin Feedback Studio will launch in a new window with the Instructor Feedback layer enabled. Note that using Feedback Studio to provide feedback on the displayed submission is covered in a separate video guide. If you click on the percentage score in the similarity column of the assignment inbox, Turnitin Feedback Studio will launch in a new window with the similarity layer already enabled. Guidance on interpretation of the similarity report, along with guidance on using Turnitin's interface to manipulate display of the similarity report, is provided by the Academic Integrity team. When you have finished marking a submission, close the Turnitin Feedback Studio window. Do not use the previous or next buttons provided at the top of the interface or the drop down between the two buttons to access another submission to mark. When marking summative assessments, always launch the next submission to mark directly from the filtered assignment inbox. Note that if you see a grading a draft submission warning when launching a submission for marking, it is because the due date and time for the submission point has yet to pass. Click Confirm at this warning if you want to proceed with marking, noting that if the student who submitted the file resubmits, any feedback or marks you provide on the current submission will be immediately deleted and non-retrievable. If your department collects student submissions using a single submission point per assessment, you are unlikely to see this message when accessing summative work to mark it. If your department uses more than one submission point per assessment, however, you are likely to see the grading a draft submission warning when accessing submissions contained in a submission point that opened later in the assessment cycle. This might happen when marking within a secondary submission point that opened at the assessment's due date, for example.